Today we have former world champion Jesus Salud. First of all, uh, what brings you by the gym here today? Well, I used to train with Floyd up in Big Bear, and uh, I haven't seen him in a while, so I just wanted to come say hello. <laughs> I was just saying to uh, you know to to uh, Gerald over here. Are we sure you're not a spy here trying to check things out, or you have no no uh, no one in this fight particularly rooting for? <laughs> no, I mean I, I'm I'm close with Floyd. I mean we trained together, Big Bear. I mean I mean you know I don't I don't know Pacquiao. I spar with him, but I, I don't know him that way. Well, I was gonna get to that second, but since we're already talking about that stuff, we gotta talk about the the fight. How do you see this? You, know, you said you work with Pac, yeah, you work with Floyd, so how do you see the fight playing out? You, I'm sure you're glad it's finally happening, so how does this fight go in the ring? I see uh, a, a little towards more with, with Mayweather because of his style, and it's going to be fought in a distance. In a distance, you know, Floyd is very smart, and Pacquiao makes a lot of mistakes going forward. That's why he got caught when he fought Marquez, and he can't do that with, with Floyd. I think the step back is going to hurt uh, uh, Pac-Man, the step back. And, um, I'm, I'm leaning towards a little bit more on Floyd's side. So if you were advising Pacquiao, what would you tell me he needs to do to win that fight? Stay on the inside and try to work on the inside. Now he, he is you know he used to have big power but he hasn't knocked anybody out in five years. Do you think that hurts him when most people think the power is maybe his advantage, but maybe it's disappeared a little bit? Well when you go up in weight division, you know the punching power gets you know uh, in, in his weight and the punching power uh, and, you know it's not gonna be as strong when I mean, he was fighting lower weight. Because you know he's going with bigger men, bigger uh, heavier weight. So his punching power is not that you know not effective. Uh oh, we're playing the game. Are you ready to play? <laughs> Sorry. 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 All right, well, let's talk real quick about you. You know, it's been a while since you've been in action. Uh, what have you been doing with yourself? I've been just in Hawaii, just you know, changing some fighters, trying to help them out. And in the, you know, in the beginning of the career, and that's all I've been doing. So is that always something you want to do after your career, stay involved in boxing? Yeah, I love boxing, and, just, and I love being in the gym and helping with the, the new fighters. Is this your first time here in the Miller Boxing Club? I mean, yes. Yes. What do you think of the way it's set up? The people in here, a lot of talent. You got, you got a beautiful gym here. I mean, the facility is amazing, and um, I, I don't know about the. I mean, they got good talent, sir. All right. Let's talk real quick about your career. Uh, first of all, you took the title. I was talking to you off camera about that. Your title fight against Juan Jose Estrada. Uh, you win the title, but you win by DQ. Walk us through that, and were you happy to win a title that way, even though he was kind of looking for a way out? And you still wish you'd have had your hand raised differently than a DQ. Well, it can't, you know, I was beating him in every round. He just wanted to get out of the fight and um, bust up his lip and knocked it down two times. And I was dom dominating the fight. So, you know, he just wanted to get, away to f get out of the fight in an illegal way, you know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, illegal and get disqualified. Yeah. And then what about something? You, you had 76 fights, I believe, in your career. So, obviously, you had, you fought a lot of tough guys. You fought uh, Marco Antonio Barrera, Kevin Kelly, people like that. Who was the toughest guy you were ever in the ring with? Um, I fought a lot of hard fights, so it's hard to say. I mean, you know, when you get 76 pro fights, there's no one that stands out. Any regrets in your career? Anything you wish you could accomplish that you didn't? Or are well, you happy with everything went? If I, I went, everything went happy with, but everybody would tell you this, that I wish I know now what I know back then. I'll be a lot more, you know, more, more uh, uh, like holding to a title a lot longer. Right. Who are some of the fighters that you got your eye on these days that excite you? Well. Well, I haven't been keeping up with boxing too much, you know, and uh, I've been away from it. And then, uh, and well, guys like Go um, Kennedy, Golovkin's, yeah, you know, they're all coming up. I mean, he's up there already, but great fighters like that. All right, man. We well, got anything else you got going on here? Looking forward to? Uh, well, I just can't wait to uh, see Floyd again. See, you know, I see hello. I haven't seen him in a long time. All right, man. I well, appreciate your time and have fun while you're out here. Right, thanks, man.